there is. <clears throat> okay. Now let's do now this problem. So let me just go to screen, share this one. Let me just apply now this integral. So I have integral from x squared over x cubed plus 5 dx. Okay. Okay. Now this is the integral I want to solve. Correct. Well, again, I go to my formulas. I'm going to be with my formulas. Okay, from this formula set, this one, well, now doesn't look like this one. This is a power. Well, I have two powers, but this is a fraction. So the only fraction I have is this one, you see? This is the only fraction I have. You see, all the other ones are tricks. Tricks are not fractions, at least in this point. So. I have to use this one. So my formula to use is, let me just change this one, integral du over u equals ln u plus c. So that's the formula I have to apply, correct? This is my match. Now I'm going to match again. So I need to select the proper u. I have to select the proper u. So I have two choices, x squared, an x cubed plus five. And remember, you are going to have the du. So one of these two has to be the derivative of the other one. So with that also in mind, which one could be the u? Mm -hmm. X cubed plus five. Plus three, plus five, plus five, correct. X cubed plus five, correct? Okay, now, I match this expression here. This is the bottom expression, so I use the u, correct? Bottom with bottom. Now, I have to match these two with the du. Okay, let me just take du. du is the derivative of this, so this is 3x squared dx, correct? Well, let's see what I have. I have x squared dx, I have x squared dx, but I need a three. I don't have a three, but three is a constant, so no problem, I can add a three. So I put one third at the out, outside of the integral, three x squared over x cubed plus five dx, correct? Now, um, this expression at the bottom is u and all this at the top is the u. So this is going to be simply equals one third integral du over u. So I was able to change this expression into the formula I have. And now I have the solution. This is, oh, yeah, this is one third, right? One third uh, ln absolute value of u plus c, correct? Now, my last step is, okay, I have to substitute the u value it is ln absolute value of x cubed plus five plus c. Okay, so integration is always this game. Let me just Jorge Alejandro admit. Okay, intro Jorge Alejandro. <clears throat> okay, so this is the way to solve integrals in the very basic entry level, right? So, so just you receive a problem, you look in your formulas which one of the formulas match pretty much the shape of your problem. And then you begin to work. Possibly you have to prove more than one. In this case, we have been having this directly. We use it directly and we found the solution. Okay. Let's solve another one. Let me just move back to the screen here. So we have now these ones, correct? So these are the next two integrals to solve. So I have integral x plus 2 over x squared plus 4x plus 5. Okay, so now this is the integral we are going to solve. What is that antiderivative? Okay, again, we look our formula chart. Okay, well, um, well, here is a power but not like this one. So it's a fraction. So I'm going to try my fraction formula. So again, my formula to try is du over u uh, equals ln 
u plus it, correct? Now again, I'm going to do my matching. What is the right, what is the right uh, option or selection for the u? The Remember, this is just substitution. Yeah, x squared plus 4x plus 5. So we're going to match these two expressions. So we match bottom with bottom, correct? Okay, so bottom with bottom, u is this way. Now, the du, the du that is in my formula is the derivative of this. Okay, this is 2x plus 4, everything times dx, correct? So that is the differential of u, or that should be. Okay, well, now let's see. I have here 2x plus 4, and I have here x plus 2. Well, there is no big deal because according with our algebra 1, we can factor a 2 in this expression, you see. 2 times x, 2x, 2 times 2, 4. And then I have x plus 2 times dx, exactly what I have here, x plus 2 times dx. But I'm missing a 2. Okay, no problem. I can put a 2 here, and I can remove the 2 right here. So my expression, again, is going to be now one half integral to x plus two dx over x squared plus four x plus five. Okay, now I see this, all this is the u, you see here, the u, all this, this is the u, the one half at the front, no problem. So this is one half integral the u over u. Once as I was able to change this into this, I know the solution. Yeah, plus it. And well, the last part only is put the value of the u, this is one half ln absolute value of x squared, 4x plus 5 plus c. Okay, this is my solution. So this is very repetitive, you see. It's very, very repetitive. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are going to be algebraic tricks we have to learn to solve more difficult problems, okay? Let's move out to the uh, this problem now. Yep. Okay, let me just stop sharing. Seems that somebody's copying. Everybody's ready to go to the next problem, to move on to the next? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Let me just now share the screen. Now we're going to solve this problem. Now, this problem is also a fraction. Uh, pretty much looks weird, okay? It's okay, let's see. Integral, a square root of ln x plus three over x dx. Okay. Okay, use it here the expression we have to solve. What is the antiderivative of this thing? Okay, well, again, we are going to try uh, our fraction, du over u. So I know the solution for this formula. So if I change this into this, I know the solution. So let's see, according with this formula, u should be who? The top. The top or the bottom? This is, well, let's see. Here, one has to be the derivative of the other one. It's okay. The derivative of x is one. This is not a one. The derivative of this is one over x. Remember? Mm -hmm. Let me just go back to the formulas here. Uh, right here. At the bottom, you can see Derivative of ln u is u prime over u. You can see the one at the bottom left, at the bottom right. Okay. So, as Yvonne said, is that one? Yeah. This is ln x plus three. Correct? Mm, okay. Now, the u is the derivative of this one. So, is one over x, right? Derivative of the three is zero. So, is going to be one over x dx. Mm -hmm. Now here is something curious, you see, u is going to be inside the root. x dx is all the u. So, well, let me see. 
Let me just group conveniently. So this is going to be integral of a square root of ln x plus three times one over x dx. So I'm going to play with my algebra. This is equivalent to this part. Now, according with this, I'm going to apply my substitution. This is the integral a square root of u du. Well, big deal. This is not the formula I have to use, you see? This is a square root. But I can remember this, integral u n du, the integral of the power is u to the n plus one over n plus one plus e, right? So, uh, if we remember that the square root is a power, this is the integral u to the one half du, correct? Now, this is matching this formula, you see. So my solution is going to be then equals u to the one half plus one over one half plus one plus e. Yeah. And now I have to do algebra. One half plus one is three halves, so this is going to be two thirds u to the three halves plus e. Okay, now I have to return my expression. U is ln plus x, so it's two thirds ln x plus three. And this is a rational exponent, so I receive radicals, so I have to return radicals. So I'm going to have the square root, because it's divided by two, of this expression q plus e. <clears throat> now, check the calculus I have in my problem. The blue part is calculus because these are formulas. They use substitution using calculus. This manipulation of the expression is algebra. When I change, I mean the calculus. This is algebra. This is calculus. This is, al yes, this is algebra and then more algebra. Check the proportion of blue and black. Mm -hmm. So there is some algebra here. In some problems, there is going to be even more algebra. Okay. Questions about this problem? Mm, no. No, it's fine, easy. Well, let's see another one. Okay, let's go to the next page. So you see those problems now? Let's try them. Integral of one over x ln x squared, right, dx. Okay, let's solve the first one. Stop sharing. There it is. Okay, we have now the problem. Mm -hmm. Well, again, we have a fraction, so we try to match our formula for fractions, and the only one we have is this one, du over u. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Well, now I see. Now, here is a key, a, key uh, a problem. I have both functions in the denominator. So I have u equals, and I have x and ln x squared. Obviously, I can do this before to do the u substitution. This is integral of one over x to ln x. Why? Because the logarithm logarithm of a power is the power times the log of the base. So this is going to be one half integral one x ln x. Remember this, every time you have an expression that is complex, use the logs properties to simplify and make this expression simpler. So it's much better to have ln x than ln of x squared. Okay, now match, how does it? Who can be, who can be the u? And who's going to be the u? <clears throat> mm -hmm. You have two to choose, x, x y, and x. <clears throat> you have two, you have x, y, and x. One of them have to be the u. Or possibly both together. 
you take U, X, L, and X. So you have to select. This is guess and check. <clears throat> no option. Jorge Alejandro, what do you think? Select one, any is good. No one? I'm lost. Well, remember this. You are going to get the derivative of this expression. To get the antiderivative, you have calculus. Okay? You have formulas. Which formulas? These ones. This is what you have. Right? So you have to select one to try to solve the problem. So this is a fraction. We select the only fraction we have in our formula set. Okay. Now I'm trying to match these two trying to identify who could be the U, because I have all this. So I have just to select, yeah? Mm -hmm. So what option you would like to try? Hmm? The LNX. The LNX, so you try U equals LNX, oh, I'm sorry, LNX. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the du? The du is the derivative of this. Well, I know the derivative of this is one over x times the dx. That's the differential. Okay, let's see now. My expression, I have one over u, all this is u, x is one over x dx. So it's exactly what I have here. So the only I have to do is group my expression conveniently. So this is one half integral one over ln x times one over x dx. So check, I play with the fractions. This product is the product of these two fractions, correct? So I'm just grouping completely. All this portion is going to be the u. This is going to be one over u. So I make my substitution, one half integral one over u times du, correct? Now, solution is here, okay? So this is uh, one half ln of u plus c. And the only thing I have to do is I have to put the u value. The u is this one. So I just put one half ln of the absolute value of ln x plus c. That's my solution. Mr. Ramirez. Yes. Could it have been backwards, like the one x dx could have been the u, or it was we like We can that. try. Um, so you want to make one over x the u? Mm -hmm. um, we can check. So everything here is clear. Now, let's suppose that we make another choice. So we change this one. You want to take. Uh, u as 1 over x or x? Which one do you want to choose? Because we have here 1 over x. And then you have here x. So this is in the denominator, you see? Mm -hmm. So which one of those? 1 over one x over or x? Hmm? 1 over x. 1 over x, okay. Suppose you get this one. Okay. What is the derivative of 1 over x? This is x to the negative 1, correct? according with my algebra. Now, what is the derivative of this one? The derivative of this power is negative one x to the negative two dx. So this is going to be one over x squared negative one dx. Now, when I match with this one, I have to look for an x squared. I cannot take this one. This x squared is inside the log, so I cannot grab it. This is outside the log, correct? So I have just one x and I have one over x to the u. So I cannot put this one. I don't find this x squared alone here. So this is not a good choice. Let's suppose you try the x. It's okay, I mess up. I put the x. Now what is this one? Du, okay. The derivative of x is one, the x, okay. I have here the one and the x, so I, I made this one. Then I have the x here, so I put the u. So possibly I'm tempted to do this one, equals 
integral 1 over x times 1 over ln x squared dx. So I'm going to group these two. This is the u. So I'm going to have 1 over u times 1 over ln x squared dx. Well, du. What I do with this one? How can I remove this one? It's impossible. So this is not a good choice either, right? So this is the situation here in integration. You have to guess and check, right? Possibly the choice is not good. Well, we have to try another one, right? Suppose somebody wants to do all together, x ln x, right? I have to take the derivative of this. This is a product, so it's going to be derivative of this one times this, ln x, plus this, times the derivative of this, 1 over x, everything times dx. So this is going to be ln x plus 1 dx. Do you have this expression at the top? No. So this is not a good choice either. So the way we solve this problem is guess and check. Yeah, that's, what, that's why it's so annoying. The derivatives are striped, correct? The derivatives. <laughs> Hard formulas, we apply one after the other, one after the other, until we finish. Integration, no. You have to identify a formula and then try to match your expression with a formula to find the solution. If you can't, there is no solution. Mm -hmm. Integration is more difficult. <clears throat> yes, I know. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay. One more. Mm -hmm. One more, let me just share screen again. Now we have this one. Ah, oh, with tricks, oh my God. I know, your hair is beating fast, correct? You are excited. Tricks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just go here. Mm -hmm. Now you have this expression. Now, again, I have to go back to my formulas. This is all my menu. It's like you are in a restaurant. You have to select one dish. Mm -hmm. Which one would you like to taste? Mm -hmm. so this is well. Option one, I have the fraction. Option two, I have the sign, you see. Yeah, not cosine because this cosine is at the top. I have a sign at the top. So I may try this or this. Mm -hmm. The other ones look very complex. No, they don't look like they're suitable. Okay, so, a ver, Luis, which one you want to use? Mm, the third one. This one? The top one, yeah. Okay, let's see. Luisito is doing the log again. So du over u equals ln absolute value u plus c, correct? Okay, now I need to match these two expressions first. So the u is at the bottom, so it looks reasonable to get the u equals this. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do u equals one minus cosine three x, right? Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, the du. Du is the derivative of this expression. Well, the derivative of the one is zero. The derivative of the cosine is negative sine of three x times the derivative of the three x, three, everything times dx. So remember, derivatives here are given, is given that you know them, no problem. So the derivative of this cosine is negative sine and the derivative of this 3x is 3. That's why I put the 3. Okay? Now, this is negative times a negative positive. I put the 3 at the front. 3 sine 3x dx. Okay. Now, let me see my expression now. Okay. U is right here. Okay. This is the U. And I have sine 3x dx right here at the top. I have sine 3x dx. So this expression matches this one at the top right here. 
So the only I need is a three, you're right? So that's not a problem. Constants are easy to work. So this is going to be one third integral three sine three x dx over one minus cosine three x. Now, all the top thing is the u, you see? So I can replace it. One third integral du and all the bottom part is u right here now my solution is a stripe this is one third ln absolute value of u plus c and the last step only is one third integral no one third ln sorry uh, one minus cosine three x plus c that is my solution so you see, it's the same procedure, always, always. Once you determine the formula, refine. ¿Está Fabián? Sí. Fabián? <laughs> ah, mm, it's okay. <laughs> well, you can help your sister with these problems. Mm? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Any question at this point? Well, um in the homework let me just move up to the homeworks share screen we have the homework here let me see no nope. let me just see here okay file open this one <clears throat> okay let me just share the screen right here so this is the homework you can see the homework on the screen so we have been solving this, you have been solving this, derivatives of this expression, derivatives with implicit differentiation, derivatives of this complex thing using the log differentiation, right? And here are the first problems, correct? Mm -hmm. You see this one. This is pretty much a straight. This one is the one that's going to give you a little trouble, correct? Let me see if I have one like this one here in my assignment to finish with that one. Um, let me see, no, I don't have one like that. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, let me just make this example then. Mm -hmm this one let me just solve this one right <clears throat> integral x minus one over x plus one dx right okay now this looks very simple right not very complex problem and the situation is well it seems that the only formula that is going to match again is this one, right? Correct. This is the only formula seems to match because it's a fraction, correct? Okay. Now, also, not big deal, selecting x plus one as the u, and the du is the derivative of this one times dx. Okay, no problem, I have here a one, but I have here also an X. So that makes me a little bit unhappy because, well, I cannot eliminate that X. I cannot split, but I have to remember my algebra, okay? So let me just open my algebra window. This is my algebra window. Fractions, three X, plus one over x minus one. Suppose you have this fraction, okay? According with the algebra you learn, this can be split in this way, three x over x minus one plus one over x minus one, correct? So remember that the rule is this one. If you have a over c plus b over c, you can put a common denominator and then you have a plus c, a plus b. This is 
the way we add fractions, correct? This is the way we add fractions. So, this is only the reverse of this one. So, from here to here. So, you have a common denominator. So, you split this fraction, this portion on this, plus this on this. This is what we are going to do for this problem. So, I'm going to take, remove this portion, and I'm going to do my algebra. So, this is going to be the integral of x over x plus 1 minus 1 over x plus 1. So I'm going to split my expression. Then I'm going to remember the properties of the integrals. The properties of the integrals tell me that if you have the integral of an addition subtraction is right here, you split the corresponding integrals. This integral plus this integral or minus this integral. So I'm going to use that formula. So this is integral of x, x plus 1, dx minus integral 1 over x plus 1 dx. Okay, I have double job. One integral here and another one here. Okay, let's solve the last one that looks the most suitable. So I'm going to take integral 1 over x plus 1 dx, correct? The u substitution, because it's the same shape, you see, is u equals x plus 1, and the u is 1 dx. So this integral, right, is going to be transformed directly in du over u. So this is going to be ln u plus c. So the first integral, right, is going to be ln absolute value of x. And I'm going to forget now the constant right? This is my first integral. What about the second one? Okay, integral of x, x plus 1 dx. So again, this is a fraction, you see, fraction. So what I'm going to do is make the u the bottom part, x plus 1. Then du is dx or 1 dx, correct? Derivative of this times dx. The problem is I have an x here, correct? So what I have here is the integral of x over u du. This is the integral I find using these substitutions. 1 dx, well, du, this is 1 dx here. I change that by du, and then the u is x over 1, so I have this one. So what can I do with the x now? Well, this is the solution express u in terms of, must be an express x in terms of u. How? With this expression, you see, this expression u x plus one tells me that x is u minus one. You see that? So this integral is going to be the integral of u minus 1 over u du. And again, you are going to split this integral using the same rule we used here at the beginning. So this is the integral u over u minus 1 over u du. Correct? And this is the integral of 1 minus 1 over u du. So you have to split these two integrals. So you have integral of 1 du minus the integral 1 over u du. Okay, here goes. And then, well, this integral is u. This integral is ln u. Um, if you express this as an x, well, this is x plus 1 because this is what I use here minus ln of x plus 1. Now, let me just put this in black. This is ln x. The solution of this is going to be simply ln x plus x plus 1 minus ln of absolute value of x plus 1. Yeah? 
This is a difficult one, right? Well, for tomorrow, I'm going to do more like these ones, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to repeat this again several times until you get the procedure. The more algebra is going to be more difficult, but you see these problems are kind of difficult. And I must calculus. Un poquito más, a little bit more. But remember, where is the algebra? Here, if you don't do this step right here, and this one right here, right? This is going to be impossible, okay? Well, remember that if you want to see again one of these, right? Mm -hmm. You are going to be able to watch the, the channel, right? And I'm going to upload this in a few minutes. So you can have in class, in Google Classroom, you can see the link and then you can access this video again and watch the portion you don't understand or you want to see again. Luis Rodriguez Amudio, what happened to you? You're late. Okay, let's stop.